Hi there, everybody's been asking for a pop-up calendar for their PDF forms for a long time now, so we created the best one on the market about a year ago. Well, Adobe's finally done it. They finally added pop-up calendar functionality to their PDF forms. And uh, I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm also gonna show you why you might consider purchasing our calendar from pdfautomationstation.com. So I'll create a couple text fields here. I'm just gonna call this date and I'll put a border around that so we can see it. And uh, I'll copy that field and I'll call this one uh, date two. So with the PDF Automation Station calendar, you just go to the Help menu, PDF Automation Station, and add a date picker. Just click that, choose your date format, and what field is that? Date 2 we're going to use. And I'm going to leave the start week at Sunday and leave the language at English. I'll click Enter. There's my calendar button. And uh, I'll just show you how that works. You just click that. You can scroll through the months, forward, backwards. Same with the years. And just pick your date, and it fills in there. Now with the Adobe feature, very easy to install. If you have Acrobat Pro DC and you're able to create form fields, all you do is go to your properties of that field, go into the Format tab, and just format that field as a date. That's all there is to it. Now when the end user clicks into this field, you'll see a drop down arrow and that's how you activate the calendar. There's one issue here and that's the end user, if they don't have a DC version of a, one of Adobe's PDF viewers, Acrobat Pro, Acrobat Standard, or Reader DC, they haven't updated to DC, then this calendar is not going to work for them. Whereas our calendar will work on practically any version of um, Acrobat or Reader. That is the end user. It will work with Reader. To install it, you need um, Acrobat Pro. Okay, so I'm going to click that arrow, and uh, here's the calendar that comes built in when you have when the end user again has updated to a DC version of one of Adobe's PDF viewers. So I could scroll through the months forward, backwards, just like our calendar. When I first looked at this, I said, okay, how do you scroll through the years? There's got to be a way because if I want a date in the year 2000, I don't want to scroll month by month back 17 years. And uh, there didn't appear to be a way, but there is, it's just not very intuitive. It took me a while, but I finally figured it out. All you do is click on the date right here, and it turns into a, a year scroller like that. And all the months are here. So I can pick my year, pick my month, pick my date, and then it goes in. So it's pretty slick. Um, but again, if, the, if you're creating forms and you don't know what the end users have, then this calendar is going to be useless because it's not going to work with Reader 10, 11, etc. It's got to be DC. Whereas if you create, you know, create a form with, with our calendar, it will work with Reader 10, Reader 11, and practically any previous version. There's another reason you might want to consider our calendar, and that is that you can hook this into a dialog pop-up. And I'll show you what I mean by activating one of our custom built dynamic stamps. So here's the pop up dialog for that stamp. I have two buttons here. I have a start date and an end date. What will happen is when I click that, the um, calendar pops up. So let me choose March 1st of 2017 and the end date and see how it just filled into that field there. With the end date, let's go two years from now. So let's go March 1st, 2019. And there's my, my two filled in fields. I'll apply the stamp and you see the dates right there. 
So, um, you know, the new Adobe calendar is very handy, but you have to have the right version of DC as an end user for that to work. And also, I don't believe you can hook that into a dialogue unless somebody proves me wrong or shows me how to do it. That would be cool if, uh, if you can do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. You want to, our calendar's on sale right now at pdfautomationstation.com. Thank you for watching.